So over here, I'll be teaching you how to identify chiral centers. Chiral centers, or more specifically, we can say chiral carbons. A chiral carbon must have four different branched emerging out of itself. As we know, carbon must have four bonds around it, and it could exist a triple bond with another single bond, a double bond with two other single bonds, or a double bond with another double bond. Right. But we notice that all these, they do not have four different segments around it. There's only one part and another part. So this will not allow it to be chiral. Same goes for this, there's only three other fragments. So this can't be chiral. Same for this carbon, it cannot be chiral. But for this carbon here, there is a sp3 hybridized. It could be chiral if the groups attached to it are all different. Let me just use one, two, three, and four. And they represent different structure around them. So here you have an example of a diagram that I've drawn. And let's analyze where are the chiral center. First look, we will see how many carbon atoms are present here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I hope you got all of them right. Now let's zoom in to see where are the potential carbon. That's chiral. We ignore these two because it belongs to a double bond. So you just ignore it, it can't be chiral. We go to the next one. This carbon has only three lines being shown, which means automatically the last bond must be to a hydrogen. H, F, a double bond here, and a single bond there with this fragment here, they are all different. So this is the chiral center. I put a marking here, put a star. As we move, this carbon again, we have a hidden hydrogen that's not being shown. Ethyl group, this fragment with a fluorine, and the other fragment with a cyclopentane. All of them are different, and hence, this is a chiral center. This carbon above here of the ethyl group is not chiral because only two lines are shown, which means the rest of the two bonds must be hydrogen. And since they are identical, this carbon cannot be chiral. Same goes for the other carbon here. The methyl group right at the end connects to three hydrogens, so it is impossible for it to be chiral. Next, we go down. This carbon, we have an alkyne group, a cyclopentane group, and this big fragment, and of course hydrogen, is chiral. Now, at this point, you might have recognized something. When you see something like a Mercedes-Benz sign or this kind of symbol, right? Then it potentially could be a chiral carbon. You see? Do you see this part? A Y, right? Like this. Then I zoom in and see whether it's chiral. This part as well. Here, in the orange marker, there's no Y being shown, so it can't be chiral. For this case, yes, it is chiral. So for this, no. For this, no. <laughs> Alkyne RSP. Hybridized, so no way it is chiral. Let's go down to this carbon here. Again, I see this symbol. And let me check whether it's chiral. So up, this whole fragment is different from the rest. Hydrogen is unique. But for the ring, how do we check if they are the same? So two fingers up, and we go bond by bond. One. They are both CH2. Okay, it's still the same. So we continue with the path. Two. This bond, this carbon here, goes with a hydrogen, hydrogen, and carbon. But that carbon here goes to the bromine and the hydrogen. So at these two junctions, they are already different, which means that these two paths are different. So one, two, three, and four coming from the hydrogen, they are all four different groups around this carbon. And that makes it a chiral center. If you look at fast enough, there's no Y at this carbon. So not chiral, not chiral, not chiral here. Could this be chiral? Let's do that again. Two fingers up. Bromine, hydrogen, two fragments here. Same. 
different. This is different because this carbon here connects to hydrogen, hydrogen, and a carbon. That carbon connects to a hydrogen, carbon, and carbon. So these two parts are different, all four are different, and indeed, that is also a chiral center.